Hello, I'm Susan Tra, co-author of Life with Bob with HealthyPlace.com. For any of you who are following my blog, you'll know that I had to call the police this month on my daughter with bipolar disorder. She had a suicidal episode, locked herself in the bathroom, and, and was yelling that she was going to kill herself. We have a safety contract. That contract says she will not lock herself away from me if she is suicidal, and the consequences of, of doing so are that I call the police. Because of that contract, I call the police. If you want to know about safety contracts, check out my blog this month because we do talk about them. Um, while police used to be a regular event in our household, I haven't had to call in almost four years. Um, my daughter is doing so many wonderful things for herself. She's taking her medication regularly. She sees her therapist. She is sleeping well, eating well, doing the things that she knows keeps her stable. She's in the middle of a transition, though. She's finishing up her college classes, doing an internship, and interviewing for her first job in her new career. That causes stress. And with stress, my daughter can become unstable, which is what happened. So I ended up calling the police. This may seem like a tragedy or a step backward in life, but actually when it was over, my daughter and I sat down and talked to each other, and we were both excited, proud of the fact that all of the safety nets we put together worked. I live in California and we have earthquakes. Because of that, we attach the bookcases to the wall. We arrange the furniture so that no, nothing can fall on your bed in the night. We take our best lamps and, and putty them to the table so that they don't go flying across the room. The whole idea of it is to protect before the event so that the event has the least amount of damage in our lives. And that's what happened with my daughter's last health crisis. Our safety net worked. Everything we did made it so that the police came in, we showed them our emergency plan, we talked about our safety contract, they saw that we had everything in order, and we could all then work as a team to get my daughter in a place so that she could stay home, didn't need to go to the hospital, knew what she had to do to start moving her life forward again. And we have. We've changed her meds. She made an appointment with her psychiatrist. Things are good. One of the people who commented on one of my blogs said she thinks that the process would empower people. And that's the right word. I think this whole thing made my daughter and I feel so empowered that we were able to put together a plan that, that kept the crisis to a minimum and really let us move on with our life. And that's a good thing. Thank you.